you know, and sometimes, you know, I used to play a lot of chess um, from, I don't know, 10 years old through the end of college. I played a, a lot. And there's that uh, classic adage or reminder to sit on your hands. Because the moment you move a piece, you have to, like, you can't move it back. You have to move it. And so, you know, if we're nervous or excited when we play chess, the tendency is to want to move things quickly. And then, you know, a couple seconds later, you're like, oh, why did I do that? I, sh- I, I should have just taken a few more seconds to move it over here instead. Or I didn't see that my queen was in danger or something. And the same can be said for guiding meditation. It's like, you know, can we sit on our tongue <laughs> for a second? And, you know, if we notice there's that tendency to kind of fill in the space, maybe a little too quickly or a little too much, can we sit on our tongue? Yeah. You know? Maybe another breath or two um, before, you know, moving my pawn. Can I you know give it one more breath and then see if it still makes sense to maybe say this thing at this time? Um, And so sometimes when I'm leading meditations, I will literally sit on my hands as kind of like a reminder. Not that this is as strategic as chess or it's competitive or anything like that, but I'll I'll sit on my hands sometimes as kind of a reminder to take my time. And usually there's no downside to silence. You know, maybe if you're in mid sentence and people are like waiting for, you know, the second half of the sentence, maybe that's not the best time, but if we're kind of meditating and dropping in, there's usually no downside to more silence. And, you know, some meditation teachers and mindfulness teachers will maybe give two sentences of sort of introductory guidance and then not say a word for an hour. Or they might give, you know, eight sentences in the beginning, two sentences 30 minutes later, and then you know, two more sentences at the end, 15 minutes after that. You know, there's no right or wrong. But usually, if you're on the fence about whether to say something or not, you know, I think a good rule of thumb is to maybe default at giving a little more silence until it feels more appropriate or you're just really feeling like this can be said now, or if you're not sure which direction to go in, you know, take a few more moments and kind of feel into it. So, um, you know, if we're feeling pressured, nervous, rushed. We can practice sitting on our hands or sitting on our tongue. Holding our tongue, I guess, might be a better (laughs) phrase here, but, you know, just kind of relaxing into the moment with a little more silence. Uh, Usually no downside to that.